Welcome back to my devlog. Uh, this is going to be a very short video. I just want to make a oversimplified video on how you can make the perfect camera following system. And it is going to take in like three lines of code. So I haven't wrote any code. I'll write it right now. So here in the engine, I'll just create a new C sharp script camera follow and I'll just open it up and we'll write it along. So what I want this camera to do is follow this player, which is for now just a capsule. Uh, we're going to change this to a actual player in a moment. But what I want right now is to take the main camera out and then just leave the player. So one trick that I've learned from working in games like this is to always create an empty and then drop in your camera. So now what we can do is take this parent, name this camera holder, and then simply just drop it into the player. So now what we can do is just reset this and then play with the camera itself. So for right now, I want this cylinder to have a way of knowing where the front of it is so what i'll do is i'll indicate where the blue line is which is always the front and then we'll just simply add in a cube like this maybe shape it like this and just put it in front so now it sort of looks like it has goggles and we know where the front is so as we can see we are directly into the back of our player which is good it's exactly what we want and now let's take this out and let's tell this to follow this player so the first thing that i'm going to do camera follow drop it into the holder like this there we go and now let's open it up so the very first thing that i want to do is have a sort of a core script that holds references so for that we obviously have the game manager, which I have not created yet. So I'll just create in a new game manager. And one little tip is to create the scripts with a capital letter. It's easier to have references later on. Okay, now we have a game manager. Let's open it up. And let's populate the script. So what I want to do in here is just hold in a reference so i'll do references and the first reference is going to be the camera follow actually the first reference will be the actual player itself so i'll do public player controller player controller now there's two ways of getting this we can just simply drag the player and drop it into the game manager or you can have a start method and play and say player controller is equal to find object of type player controller there we go now we have a player controller reference and what we can do is do the exact same thing in here we can have a reference to the public actually no we don't need it to be public we can just say game manager game manager create a start method game manager find object of type game manager there we go so now we have the references we don't have a game manager in here so let's create a game manager game object and let's drop this in here so now we have a empty player we can drop this in here or we cannot drop it in here it'll find it when we play which we should test right now let's see if it finds it and there we go now we have a reference to the player so now since we have the reference we have everything we need what we can do in here is create a public late update there we go so now since we have a late update we can use transform.position is equal to vector 3 dot lerp or we can use smooth damp i personally like lerping so save transform position and we take 
the game manager and we reference the player controller dot transform so we can say it like this we can say game manager dot player controller dot transform dot position which is pretty long and it's actually useless so what we can do is create a transform in here called player transform and since we have reference what we can do is say player transform is equal to game manager dot player controller dot transform there we go so now we're just referencing the game manager which is holding the player controller and it's holding the script not the transform but since we have the trans the the script attached to the transform we can just say dot transform so now we have transform we can say player transform and then we can give it the lerping values so let's say values in here first let's say lerp speed which is obviously a float let's default this to one and there we go now we have lerp speed times time dot delta time And it's saying we can do transform to a vector three. So you can see transform dot position. There we go. Now that should work. And uh, this will work fine. We don't even need to test it because it it should work fine. Uh, one last thing that I want to add is a offset. So let's say miscellaneous in here. Let's say public vector three offset. so offset what we can do with the offset is literally add it on top of the position so let's say offset in here but offset has three vectors and that is going to make our life just a little bit more difficult so what i want to do is offset my camera in only this direction and this direction so this direction, as we can see in here, is the y-axis and this direction is the z-axis. So what I can do is actually declare a public vector2 offset. There we go. Now we have a offset2. Let's call it a2. And what we can do is have this offset contain this offset but without one axis. It's a little complicated but it's going to make our life just that little bit more easier. So what we're going to say is offset dot x axis is equal to offset two dot x axis. There we go. Now we have the x axis and we needed the z axis, but offset two does not have a z axis. So what we can say is offset dot z is equal to offset two dot y. And I think I'm mistaking the x-axis because this should be the y-axis, but uh, we can leave it like this. So now we have the off offset and this should all work fine. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, now we have offset and offset y. Let's press play, see if we can work with this. Okay, after finding out which axis is which, this is the right one. What we can do now is simply mess with this and with this. And obviously the lerp speed is... Now we have the problem of advancing this camera system because if we try and rotate this guy, in this direction, we'll see the camera does not follow. So what we need to do right now is follow the actual axis. And uh, that is actually not that hard. So now let's add one last thing that we need in here. And uh, the last thing that we need is a reference point sitting right behind our player. So what we can do is create an empty and call this something like camera focus point 
what this is going to help us is that we're going to place this right here and then we're going to tell our camera to look always in the direction of forward so now if the player moves like this the camera focus point will move it along so now we're going to change the algorithm one more time and we're going to have a reference into the player controller so inside here it's a little bit messy we're going to have a new reference and we're going to say public transform focus point there we go this is just going to hold the point so now we have player transform let's declare a new transform focus point focus point is easy to get since we have the player controller so focus point is equal to game manager player dot focus point there we go now we have a focus point and instead of player transform we can say focus point dot position plus the offset now since we have a focus point what we can do is declare a look at position so look at position is very simple we can just say transform dot look at and in here we need a vector 3 target or actually a transform so we could just say transform dot position that is going to we could say player in here so player transform and i don't think position works oh we can pass in a vector three as well so what we can do is have another offset variable so now the offset will be only in the y-axis and we can do public load look at offset. So what we can say is another vector three look at offset vector and the vector will be equal Will be equal to the player itself so player transform dot position so now since we have that what we can do is just pass this and this should work all fine so now in order to add in this offset right here what we can do is look at offset vector dot y plus equal or actually no This should work. Look at offset vector dot y plus equal to look offset. This should in theory work. Let's test it out. Let's not forget to reference the cam focus point, which is right here. And now we should have a look at offset. So let's test this out. Let's see if it actually worked. Okay, we can see the look at vector is working perfectly fine. The one thing that we need to do is now move this camera into zero. So now we can see why we added this look at vector or look at offset. So now we can offset like this, we can offset like this, or like this. And that is how you build the perfect following system. Look at this. Now, even if we rotate this, it's always going to look from the back. And if you rotate quick enough, it'll just switch back to where it was. Okay, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. We're doing this devlog scene where I'm making a player kind of move around, go into houses and do some stuff. Uh, I hope it's out soon and uh, thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video